Here are five Canva keyboard shortcuts that you need to know. The first one is T for text box and boom, instant text box magic. The second one is circle, so C on your keyboard and boom, circle. The next one is square. All you gotta do is press R on your keyboard and ta-da, square or rectangle, there you have it. The next one is line, so all you gotta do is press L on your keyboard, boom. And the final one, which is my favorite, is duplication. So to do this, let's say we want to duplicate this image right here. All we gotta do is either Command or Control D to duplicate, or we can select the image and hold the Alter Option key and click and drag with our mouse just like that. If you enjoy these Canva tips, please be sure to like and follow for more. Here's how to remove any background of any photo with Canva. All right, friends, go to Canva and simply you just want to upload your headshots into Canva. I have mine in a segmented folder and I'm just going to pick one very quickly here. Then we are going to click on the image, go up to the top corner that says edit image up here, and then we're going to hit the BG remover, which stands for background remover. It is a Canva Pro feature. So if you do want to try out Canva Pro for 30 days free, click my affiliate link in my description or in the pinned comment or in my Instagram link bio. And here we go. Canva is going to do its thing. Five, four, three, two, one, remove. Ta da! And just hit apply. And there you go, friends. If you enjoyed this Canva tip, please be sure to like and follow for more. Here's how to create a QR code with Canva. So let's say you want to turn your YouTube page into a QR code. So very simply, let's go and copy the URL link, head into Canva, and we want to scroll down on the toolbar here on the left side, go to the app section, click the QR code, and very simply paste in your URL. Now we can hit this generate code right here, but first we can also customize it to your brand color. So let's say we want to change the foreground, which is the code itself. So let's say you have blue in your brand colors you can do that and you can change the background color if you want to but i don't really like to mess with that all that much so and we can also up the margin as well and five four three two one click it generate that code boom there you go if you enjoyed this canva tip please be sure to like and follow for more here's how to create the best instagram reel cover on canva so this is a 1080 by 1920 pixel design so first we want to turn on our guides so shift r then we want to hit the r on our keyboard for a square then we want to make this 1080 by 1080 exactly and then we want to center this image right in the center just like that then we're going to click and drag from the top click and drag from the top, then very simply delete this square. Now, why are we doing this? Because we are creating these guides so that we have all of our pertinent information right in the center because this is the information that is gonna show on your Instagram feed. Now, this t entire 1080 by 1920 design here is what's gonna show on your real section. So if you enjoyed this Canva tip, please be sure to like and follow for more. Canva keyboard shortcuts that you probably didn't know about that you need to know about, so let me put you on. The first one is zooming in and out. So hit, hold the control or command key and simply scroll in and out with your mouse scroll, just like that. The second one here is, let's say we want to select this yellow circle without moving any of these shapes in front. So let's hold the command or control key, click and click with your mouse until the shape in the back is selected. And we can very simply move it with the keys on our keyboard, left, right, up, and down just like that. The next one here is selecting all elements. So let's hit the command or control A, and now we can move this entire section as one unit. The next one is grouping elements. So let's say we want to connect these two elements together. So let's select them together, click and drag, and then we're gonna hit the command or control G, and now it's grouped together and it's one entity. If you enjoyed this Canva tip, please be sure to like and follow for more. Here's how to remove the background of any video using Canva. So first you wanna upload your video into Canva here, and you wanna make sure that it's a video that is less than 60 seconds long. But I also find that if you cut this video down even more, the tool works even faster. So excuse my dancing, I was doing the Wolfpack sign because I'm part of Agent Wolfpack here at EXP Realty. If you know, you know. So I'm just gonna click that. Now we're going to click on the video itself, go up to the edit video and click background remover. Now this is a Canva Pro feature and as you can see, it removed the background faster than I can even say, try Canva. So there you go, my friends. That's how you use the tool. If you enjoyed this tip, please be sure to like and follow for more. Here are my favorite text animations to use in 
Canva. Now, if you've been on social media lately, you probably have seen all of these Twitter inspired quote reels. And honestly speaking, I don't even have Twitter, so don't even add me. So this is why I create these reels in Canva. So very simply, if you go to the Canva home dash page, you will see the create a design button and you just want to click on the Instagram reel design, which is 1080 by 1920. So this is actually a playable video. So you want to make sure that your page is at least 10 to 15 seconds long. And quite simply, this is a profile picture, some text boxes here. And now to animate this, we want to click on the text box, hit the three dots up here and go to animate. Now, my favorite ones to use is obviously the typewriter one. Now we can adjust the speed and I usually make it pretty slow so people can read it properly and nicely. Another one that's cool to use is this merge one. It's quite interesting. It's kind of cool. And another one I like to use is very simply this baseline one. So this makes your quote reels that much more interesting and engaging. So if you enjoyed this tip, please be sure to like and follow for more. Here's how to copy a design from one project to another in Canva. So let's say we were working on this design here, which is a 1080 by 1920 pixel design, but I wanted to copy over a different design from a different project. So make sure you have a new page ready and open. Go to the left-hand side toolbar here and hit the projects folder. So this is basically everything that is in your Canva dashboard. Now let's say I want to copy over a different Canva design from my Instagram content and I want this 1080 by 1080 design here. So very simply, I can just click on it and Canva props it over, copies it over just like that. If you enjoyed this Canva tip, please be sure to like and follow for more. Here's a breakdown of how Canva brand kits work. So very simply, go to the Canva dashboard, show menu and click your brand kit. Now with Canva Pro, you can have multiple brand kits, which is super clutch for me. Now I'm going to show you my personal brand kit. So here I have all of my designated logos in place. I have all of my brand colors in place and I have all of my preferred fonts here. So how does this translate over when you are working in a design? So if we go to the text box here, you can see that I have all of my preferred fonts here and I can just click, click, click and they're ready to use. And if I want to pull in my logos here, I can just go down here to the logos, which is down here. And here I can use my logos. And if I want to use my brand colors, I can just go up to here to the background. And you can see all of my brand colors are located here. And if I want to switch my colors, I can click that button and I can change to my other color palettes just like that. If you enjoyed this camp tip, please be sure to like and follow for more. Here are five reasons why you need Canva Pro. First is that you can remove the background of any photo with one simple click just like that. The second is also being able to remove the background of any video that's less than 60 seconds long with again, one click, just like that. The third one is being able to have multiple brand kits. And as you can see, I have many and I was just in this kit right here. The third one is being able to have the option and access to hundreds and thousands of photos, audio, video, and of course, all of these fantastic elements. And finally, my favorite one is being able to resize a project file just like this into something else. So I'm going from IG feed to a story, which is 1080 by 1920. And I'm gonna copy and resize and Canva is gonna do its magic. And boom, there you go, my friends. This is why you need Canva Pro in your life. Be sure to like and follow for more Canva tips.